hey, check this out. I need to uh, set some points on this parking lot. Let's pretend this is a parking lot, and here's some parking stalls. And I need to set some points on the back of these parking stalls. So to do that in Civil 3D, I simply go to the Home ribbon and go to Points, and you'll notice that there's a, a bunch of different options here grouped for um, setting points, but we're going to uh, focus in on the, uh, the manual. So if I go to a, a Point Creation Tools uh, toolbar here, these, those same options that were up in point are uh, offered here as well, uh, grouped in nice little little buttons. But also on this uh, this toolbar is this double arrow that comes down, and we can simply change some information here on the fly as we're setting points. So what I'm going to do for this exercise is I'm simply going to change some some point creation information here and what I'm changing is is that I have a prompt for elevation and I have that set to manual and it's set to manual because every time I set a point it's going to ask me what elevation do you want on here and I could set automatic and, and um, you know that would be fine but I'm also going to change the uh, prompt for description from manual to automatic and then I'm going to change the default description to say EOP. That way every time I set a point it's not going to ask me what description I want, it's automatically going to set it at EOP. So let's go ahead and set a manual point. So I'm going to pick this manual point um, tool button and um, then it, spe it says uh, specify the point so I'm going to give it a, a, an end point here and it asked me for an elevation I'm just going to say 10 and uh, the next point notice it didn't ask me for a description and I'm going to say 10 again and then uh, another point I'll uh, say 10 again and uh, to get out of the command just simply press enter but the problem here is that I have points showing up or the node with no description, no elevation, no point number. How do I get those things to show up? Well, in Civil 3D, the tool space is, uh, is your friend, and that, that's going to have all the, uh, the styles that will affect that point. And the point is made up of a point style, which is this marker, and a point label style, which is the text. And uh, you can add as much information to that, uh, to that point as you see uh, deem necessary but uh, for this we're simply going to go to our prospector tab on our tool space and expand the point groups and there's a standard point group that is in every file and that's all points you can't delete it can't uh, do much with it other than change how you want all your points to show up so if we simply go ahead and do a right click properties we can go ahead and change the default styles and one is this uh, this point style which is how you see it now and the other is this point label style which is set to none which is obvious we don't have any information in there so if I go ahead and these are some preset ones that come with the AutoCAD template but if I change this to say elevation only and apply that you'll see that I'm, I'm starting to get some information show up now I could easily change this to uh, the standard uh, soft desk or yeah soft desk uh, um, point looking thing and say apply and now you get your point number and your elevation and your description but um, I'm gonna keep it at elevation apply but that's not how I want the elevation to show up let's say I want it to show up at a say a 45 degree angle coming off there now to, to modify that I simply go in and I do an edit current selection which is that elevation only and there's the name of the the, uh, the label style and then there's some general information for uh, the text uh, style and the layers and that kind of thing but also on the layout tab which is pretty important we have some some anchoring points and that kind of thing but let's take a look at this text portion now if I pick on the the ellipse here you'll notice that uh, let's say I'm out to the to the hundredth and I don't want to be that that precise so uh, what I'm gonna do is I highlight this and it shows point elevation now here's my precision I go ahead and I change that to say uh, tenth and uh, it doesn't take effect over here now what to, what I need to do to make it stay um, to hold the changes is I force it back over with this arrow now change some information there say okay and now I'm out to the tenth place the other thing that I'd like to change here is change this anchor point to say middle center 
and uh, you'll notice that it kind of moved to the middle of the center of the the point right and then I also want to change the uh, rotation because I wanted it to be at a 45 but now it's still a little close there so I want to move it out away from that point a little bit so I'm going to say 0.08 on the X and 0.08 on the Y and now it's looking a little bit better um, I can also change that point style to be a little dot with a line coming out however you want it to look but I'm going to apply that say okay and now when I apply it now they're all rotated kinda cool um, play with those if you have any questions uh, you know send me a comment uh, rate this video, subscribe, and uh, hopefully there'll be more videos to come. Thanks.